Yo, what's going on guys? This is Nate Beer and today I'm going to be showing you how to play music on stream without getting copyright striked on Twitch with Streamlabs. If you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, but without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So this is actually a really easy process. A lot of people just make these videos way too long. So all you need to do is literally go to your settings, you're going to go to output, and then from there you're going to look and you'll see audio track, and then just below it there is Twitch VOD. You're going to tick this button, and then what you're going to do is you're going to change it to a different audio track. So for example, I've just put it on two, uh, that's all you really need to do because that is going to be the uh, bod track that we do not want ticked when we get to the music so We're going to click done. Okay, so that's the first step done Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a application So that was one that I prepared earlier. So let's do it again. So you can see on here I have loads of different ones. Okay, so what I do is I'll start it again So I can show you add source. We're going to go down to application audio capture add source and you see I've got three different ones there at the moment, okay? So I've got my music, which is Deezer, which is a bit like Spotify for people that don't know it. Um, and that's the one that will not be going on the VOD. But then I've also split it, so I also have Discord on there, and I have Google on there. So Google Chrome will obviously be when I'm looking at web browsers and stuff. I want that audio to come onto the VOD. And also with the Discord, I want that audio to come through. So those two are not going to be hidden on the track, but the music is. But just for the example, let's do add a new uh, source, add. And then you'll see there we've now just added it so now what i've got to do here now is i've now got to find my music tab so i've just found it there deezer make sure you have your music opened or you won't be on there so i've just opened it up now and now the most important bit i need to do now is i need to take it off of track two so this now means this track will not record onto the twitch vod so when you do go back onto watching twitch vods People won't be able to hear the music. They might see you dancing. They might see you singing, but they will not be able to hear the music. The music will not go onto the VOD. Therefore, no copyright strike. Bang and cool. Once you've done that, you click OK. And then you'll be able to see if you go onto your music. I've got some copyright free music on just because obviously I don't want to get copyright striked. I'm on YouTube right now. We click play and we can see there down at the bottom on the music application that it is playing the music and as i say if i was live streaming right now that would not go onto the actual stream um you obviously can do this with things like google if maybe you listen to google you want to use that then make sure you add it onto google uh so so for example if i went onto google and say i was like oh okay i don't want google on my actual um stream track i could just take it off again so you're never going to get copyright strikes as long as you are smart about it and you make sure that the stream track does not have that copyright music on it um but yeah it's a good way to do it and it's really simple to set up once you've got it all set up literally you are good to go give you a little example here is my stream from the other day and as you can see as it's playing there is no music playing on the vod you cannot hear it and then you'll hear in a minute my voice is going to kick in and um yeah just to prove to you that it does work Hi Jordan, I'm just going for a piss mate and then I'm back. <laughs> like so so yeah that's literally all you've got to do it's really simple say so i have your music track make sure you take it off of the vod track and then split up the other ones as well make sure you don't have your desktop audio um out loud because obviously that will include the music so that's why i haven't split into three mute your desktop audio and then have the different ones so as you can see here if i was to just to delete that application off just so you can see my, all my settings i've got my microphone my google I've got Google, Discord. Obviously, if I was in a call, that would start popping up. I've got the um, music there, and then I've got like my sound alerts, and then that is my um, my game capture. So yeah, that's literally all it is. It's simple as that. Hope that has helped. And make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and without further ado, I'll see you all in the next video.